Welcome back class. Uh, this video is going to focus in on introducing you to the gizmo system and your first real activity for class. So before we went on our extended break, we were talking about energy flow, food chains, food webs, and trophic levels. Basically, how does energy move throughout an ecosystem uh, going from one org organism to the next? Uh, kind of how energy is lost, and we're starting to get into, but didn't quite get to talk about some of that idea of balance within the ecosystem. So today's activity and tomorrow's activity, they're together. You get two days to work on this, uh, tackle those concepts. So you have your assignment located on Google Classroom. It looks just like this. It will be a copy of this. Um, it starts out with a little bit of prior knowledge check-ins, so reviewing some of those topics that we looked at before we left. Um, some key vocabulary, most of which we've talked about in one shape or form, or is something you've learned about in prior school. Uh, and then it will jump into the gizmo itself. So start by answering those couple check-in questions before you get going. One thing you'll notice is in order to make it easier for you to find out where you should put your answers, uh, anywhere that a question exists, I have that A in blue, uh, and then a space for you to put, input your answer. So when you're ready for the gizmo, you're gonna go to explorelearning.com. I already have mine open in another tab. Uh, so I'm going to go to my main page as I already am, and then I'm gonna go ahead and launch the gizmo. That's going to take me into the screen with the simulation. Okay, so there's a lot of different things going on and a lot of different tools for you to utilize. Uh, the first thing on the left is you'll notice kind of your key information that you're actually doing in the simulation. For the purpose of this activity, you're looking at a food chain that includes grass, rabbits, some snakes, and hawks. Um, so this would be really reminiscent of a food chain that you might see in any temperate forest biome, which is what we happen to live in in Hartford, Wisconsin. So these different organisms start out at a set level. You have 27,300 blades of grass or grass plants. You have 2,566 rabbits, 278 snakes, and 42 hawks. I have, throughout the activity, there are different changes that you might make, uh, including making your population diseased rather than healthy, and also adding or subtracting organisms from a particular species. So those buttons are all located on this side. On the right-hand side, you have some different ways to look at the data you're going to be taking. So first you have your description that goes through the premise of the gizmo, but then if you click table, that's going to take you to your data table. That information is gonna get automatically recorded as you go through the activity, looking at what species populations are at at any given time. In this activity, every second equals one month, and it goes in increments of half seconds or half months. So that will be what you see in the first column on the left, and then you'll see the populations of your various species in the columns to the right of that, okay? You have a bar chart. The bar chart is gonna look at the overall balance of the organisms in your ecosystem at any given point in time. You can kind of look at that larger, smaller, um, you can change the scale of that, but that's what that is showing you. Last, you have your line graph, and that's going to look at that balance change over time. So you've got on the left-hand side, the percent of balance. On the lower axes, you have the time and months. And again, you can zoom in and zoom out of that as well, okay? On the bottom, you have more control panels. Uh, so this little button is going to be the start button that'll start running the simulation and running through time and months. That'll activate uh, your pause button and also your reset button once you've gotten started. So you can clear the board and go back to this neutral time. So I'm gonna to go to my table for now. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit play. So as you can see, every half second, you're loading new data for how those populations are changing in response to one another and in response to what's happening over time. Um, if we look at the general basics, we see some growth trends throughout time, uh, throughout the different trophic levels, the different organisms at those levels. Again, I can go look at my bar chart. My balance is still 100% across species. I can look at my line graph. There hasn't been a ton of deviation of those species over this four-month time period. 
Okay, but remember, there are also controls that you can change. And part of the activity is going to ask you to change some of those controls, make predictions about what you think will happen, and then actually run the simulation to see what occurred, whether your predictions were correct or incorrect. So let's say I want to make my grass diseased, and let's say that I want to decrease my snake population. Maybe there was a hunting season on snakes that went through, and so we saw a decrease in the population. Uh, and maybe like we talked about uh, before we left, uh, something happened with one of the biogeochemical cycles. Maybe there's been some nutrient runoff of a particular uh, fertilizer in the area and that's affecting the grass population and making it sick. Okay. Then I can hit my play control again. Let it run for a couple of months. Stop. That's four and a half, a little bit more. Um, and I can see how those populations are starting to shift and change over time in raw data. But then again, I can look at my bar chart to look at what's happened to that balance. I'm going to zoom in so I can see the bars a little bit more dramatically different. And then I can go to my line graph and look at how that change has happened over time. So we went from a pretty flat across movement to a whole bunch of things changing and happening. Okay, so those are kind of the basics for the gizmo. Uh, at this point, I've done a little bit of exploration. I've tried some of the buttons. I've looked at what's changing over time. I'm going to go ahead and reset, and then I'm going to get started with my actual activity. If I go back to the assignment page, you'll notice that the assignment itself does a really good job of explaining exactly what it wants you to look at and what you should be hitting to make those changes on the simulation itself. So follow through, read your instructions, and if you have questions, please feel free to ask. Um, again, you guys have my office hours at the top of your document for class, but also email me at any time. I will be checking my email regularly on days that I do and do not have office hours. Uh, and also occasionally on weekends as well. So good luck, have fun, explore, learn, and be safe, and I will see you guys soon.